Morning guys, um, it's 6.30 here at Club La Santa and we are getting ready for our morning swim. Um, 4K is easy technical work, a uh, bit of pull. Um, just getting my, uh, my breakfast uh, done and a swim set done as well at the same time. So um, yeah. What are you having for breakfast? So today I had uh, wheat biscuits or something. Um, that was just what what was left at the uh, supermarket when I came. So easy choice, um, and of course uh, a solid cup of coffee. So what's most important right now is just get it get back into a nice rhythm of. Uh, training, get some volume in uh, for the legs to <laughs> start turning up again. A day, a day like today, of course the swim is important, but the most important session is the bike. It's a five hour bike ride with some steady intervals. Um, that's by far the, the most challenging and also uh, important session of the day. and. That's where I want to lay all my energy. It amazes me how many swim coaches can be on full salary compared to triathlon coaches. It's strange because you know, the amount of, uh, obviously there is a huge amount of swimmers, but the amount of swimmers who m makes it through, it's like so, it's so small. And it seems like a lot of the swim coaches don't really have the expertise to be actual coaches. You know, they are just handing out a program and then don't care about the swimmer's uh, personal life or how to make them perform the best way. As long as they do just follow the program, they have to trust that. Like, don't ask questions, just just do. You have swim coaches walking around and get, getting like between 4,000 and 10,000 euros a month. So why can't, why can't you get a proper swim coach or triathlon coach in triathlon? It is pretty strange. I don't really get it, to be fair. Maybe it's because triathlon is such a new sport and swimming is an old sport, so therefore there will be more people who have grown up swimming and then become coaches, and that creates some kind of market. Um, but I'd say if, if a swim coach is very smart, then he just starts, like start building a professional triathlon squad and be a swim coach of that, because it's, it's easier to facilitate a triathlon program uh, than people actually think. Mm. Um, if anybody is out there uh, looking for, like, serious about being a triathlon coach or a swim coach, hit me up. <laughs> then uh, I can find a job for you, I think. <laughs> What's your go to um, Club La Santa? breakfast mix? Uh, it depends a bit on the session. Um, I really like the uh, the omelette and then just pieces of bread underneath, some uh, ham and some cheese on top. 
pretty Danish. That's a nice one. And then um, when I go for longer <coughs> training sessions, lots of carbs. So pancakes with um, Nutella, rib of Nutella, and some uh, <laughs> add some peanut butter. Bike ride with the uh, with the guy, the green teamers. It's Levin's last week down here. Levin is a green teamer, <laughs> so we're gonna go out and enjoy some sunshine, and maybe uh, stick it to him a little bit on the hills. Some friendly competition. Give uh, Levin a proper send off. This is the race? Yep. Race to the top. Tabiesco. It's quite interesting. <laughs> so we have Levin, he, it's his, uh, he's going home tomorrow, so it's his uh, last day here. Um, and what better way to, uh, to finish off than uh, a proper race? That's how it's done. But, uh, good, good way to send off is just full gas for about. 30 minutes. No, no, no. It's all out. All out. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of a publishment here. <laughs> What's your prediction? What's my prediction? Um, the aim is just not to get dropped and just to beat the little uh, skinny boy over there. That's the aim. But it is. It is. To, not me. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, he's the skinny boy. Compared to me, everyone here is skinny. <laughs> yeah, I think it's going to be difficult to, to fight the uh, physics on this one, but. Uh, We'll try. And how are you feeling? <laughs> Again, yeah, you. just gonna be here to make Daniel look good. <laughs> Dude, just a solid guy. <laughs> a real team player on striker player. racing over here. Yeah. Yeah, so we went for the uh, for the for the attack on the uh, Haria Tobiesco climb. Um, let's try to uh, Carl set the tempo in the bottom, and I tried to keep in the headwind the pace up, um, making making myself as uh, as wide as possible to make uh, to get to let Levin get some draft. But unfortunately, the big guy uh, could not keep up with the with the lightweights. So. Uh, yeah, he he struggled a bit afterwards, but it was uh, it was fun. It was uh, yeah, it's 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 nice and it's stuff like that. It's, it's just worth coming down here to have that camaraderie and the social aspect of it. It's it's so awesome to have those guys around, and um, it makes all of that the the training a bit easier when uh, when I have time to do like sessions where it's not scheduled. Then it's it's way more fun to to go out with those guys and and have a laugh and um, and tell some some good stories. That's that's always uh, that's always good. So 
that was um, that was it for today. Um, a proper day of training. Uh, next day, that good. So we'll skip the the run session plan. Maybe a bit of or I will go and do some mobility work and um, and a bit of core exercises at the gym and stuff to keep. Uh, building a, a strong core, but um, thanks a lot for watching, I yeah, hope you enjoyed it and, uh, and you'll keep coming back watching some more uh, videos. Uh, ciao for now. Yeah. What's happening? I'm gonna kill Mitch and paddle. As you see, I'm a multi-talent. I can use left and right hand equally well. Look, mom. As you see, my um, eye, eye to hand uh, coordination is through the roof. <laughs> through the roof. That's why Mitch decided we had to play a paddle in, in the evening because I've had seven hours of training today, so he. Oh my! See! <laughs>